something definite about our video today. We have a wonderful new veteran, Ooh. lovingly made by the children of Hope Kids and the Hope Kids team. Thanks very much, guys. I love it. I really do. Thanks again. Now, on with today's lesson. The Gospel according to Mark. Today, Jesus will be telling the disciples about his death again. And the disciples also end up in an argument with each other about who is better than who. So let's begin by reading our first scripture of the day. We'll be looking at Mark chapter 9 and reading from verses 30 to 32. This is what it says. Then they departed from there and passed through Galilee, and he did not want anyone to know it. For he taught his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And after he is killed, he will rise the third day. But they did not understand this saying and were afraid to ask him. Thanks, Poppy. So here we have Jesus teaching his disciples again, for about the second or third time, about his death and his resurrection. But the disciples still didn't understand, as it says in verse 32, that they didn't understand this saying and that they were afraid to even ask him. Jesus' death was still hard for them to accept because they had grown up and had been taught by the Jews that the Messiah, the Saviour, would not suffer or be killed. But as we have learned before, boys and girls, Jesus had to suffer and die on that cross to take away all of our sins because being the Son of God, he was the only one who could. And because he was the Son of God, he defeated sin and death by rising from the dead. Just like Jesus says, after three days, he will arise. But the disciples couldn't accept or understand this just yet. Moving on, let's look at what happens next with the disciples as we read Mark chapter 9, verses 33 to 37. Follow along as best you can, boys and girls, and here is what it says. And they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you discussing on the way? But they kept silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and put him in the midst of them. And taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. Humbleness. 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 This is what Jesus is teaching his disciples and us to be humble. So what does humble mean? Simply put, to be humble is to think of others before yourself and not to think that you, me included, are more important than other people. The opposite of being humble is being proud. <laughs> Look at me, ain't all you amazing? Nope. And this is exactly what the disciples were doing. Because they were the closest to Jesus, they thought that they were better than everyone else. And even amongst themselves, they were arguing who was better than who. Very prideful, wouldn't you say? Now does that sound like a good thing? No, not at all. But I wonder boys and girls, if you can think of a time where you thought that you were better than someone else. I know in my life, there's been many, many times where I was not humble. But here is the good news. Jesus is the greatest example of humbleness that we can look to. Because he is the Son of God, the King of Heaven, who came down to earth and was born into poverty. He was born poor, then grew into a man. He, the King of Heaven, came down to earth and served man. Now you're not going to find any other example of humbleness better than that in the entire universe. That just blows my mind. Now Jesus soon deflates the ego of the disciples by saying, if anyone would be first, 
he must be last of all and servant of all. This means that it is better and good to humbly serve and care for others than to try and be the centre of attention and think that you're better than others. So boys and girls, don't be proud, be humble, be like a great example, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well boys and girls, it's now time to pray and thank God for all that we have learned today. Heavenly Father, thank you for today Lord, thank you for your word and all that we have learned today Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus that you are King of Heaven, that you are our Saviour and that you are our great example of humbleness Lord. We pray Lord that you help us not to be proud and not to think of ourselves Lord but always think of others and care for others and be humble Heavenly Father. We just thank you for this and we pray for this Lord. I pray for this for the boys and girls as they continue to learn your word and learn about your humbleness God and your love Lord that they can copy that and and show that to others as well, Lord. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you continue to do in our lives, Lord. I pray you bless the children and bless your church. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's all we have time for today. But remember, as always, we read God's Word, we listen to God's Word, and we stay strong in God's Word. Good.